This is Alan Frawley from FX Empire. General Motors rose nearly 5% on Friday after a Wedbush upgrade. The stock had been under pressure all week and in the weeks prior to that and has lost a lot of ground since topping out in March. Uh, looking back, uh, the stock uh, dropped to a seven-year low in March 2020 and then charged higher, uh, returning to a 10-year trend line right at uh, the end of 2020. Uh, it uh, pulled back a little bit and that broke that trend line in January, setting up a bunch of buying signals. It uh, posted one high up here in the mid 50s and then stair stepped up to about the 6250 level. This is where momentum died, as you can see from a failed breakout attempt in April and another failed breakout attempt here in June. Now, selling pressure since this turnaround in June has been pretty intense. Uh, see how it's dropped uh, on balance volume accumulation down to this little trading floor, which is also about a six month low. So this is a really strong bout of profit taking. This stock is now uh, below the uh, 50 a day of moving average and struggling to come back above it. Uh, now that could happen. As you can see on Friday, we have the rally back up to there, but this isn't really conducive to a breakout anytime soon. Uh, in addition, both weekly stochastics and uh, monthly stochastics have rolled over into sell cycles. And this is kind of a big deal uh, as we hit the dog days of summer, because I think it's going to be very hard for General Motors to find the uh, investors needed to power breakout up into the mid to upper 60s. Uh, so all we can do is sit back and wait. We have this sort of rectangular pattern with two edges on it, one here around 62 and another one here about 54. And uh, you just have to go whichever way uh, the stock goes because a breakdown could probably be uh, uh, kind of a severe dropping, maybe filling some of these gaps down here while a breakout could get the stock up uh, very quickly into the 70s.